Warmer weather here in North Texas finally starting to settle in, and that means rattlesnake season is back. Our Rachel O'Neill explaining today how we can all best protect ourselves as well as our pets. In the United States, more than 150,000 animals are bitten by venomous snakes every year. While Dallas Fort Worth Wildlife Control says there's a few ways to get ahead of this problem. Make sure all the gaps and cracks on the house are sealed up around the yard. It, you know, if you've got a big void under rocks, things like that, make sure everything stays filled in. Uh, if you're in a very snaky area, I recommend walking the yard before turning your pets out. Kennedy, who wrangles snakes for a living, says they like to hide in bushes, shrubs, vacant homes, and overgrown areas. But there's no safe zone from snakes in Texas. Although we've removed rattlesnakes from downtown Dallas, downtown Arlington, downtown Fort Worth. These snakes are all throughout the Metroplex. Appears to be from here a western rat snake. To protect yourself and animals, everyone is encouraged to get rid of snake habitats as soon as possible. Dr. Bob Murtaugh, a veterinarian, says a snake bite can cause serious injury. The more important uh, issues around a rattlesnake bite is the fact that the pet can develop a systemic reaction involving failure of the heart circulation resulting in shock and death. Fortunately, most veterinarians offer the rattlesnake vaccine. This softens the effects of a venomous bite and increases your pet's life expectancy. If you happen to see a snake, you're encouraged to move in another direction. Walk away if you're in a public park or something. Uh, if you're in your yard, call Dallas Fort Worth Wildlife Control. Get a wildlife specialist out there to actually remove the animal from your property. In Dallas, Rachel O'Neill, CBS 11 News.